it's the weekend. Hello. Preamble, pre-broadcast, broadcast. If this is your first time, don't worry. We're in the twilight zone, betwixt between now and moving. And delighted to see Northumberland and Sweden currently here in the room with me. How is that even possible? Northumberland and Sweden. That doesn't roll off the tongue naturally, but it is a, it is a miracle. Good morning both. Also joined by Italy. It's, it's, it's random Saturday. And Southampton. Okay, I'll stop now listing off our locations for this morning's meeting, movement meeting, Wales. So if this is the first time you've tuned in, um, just to explain, um, I'm here in mum and dad's dining room, looking at this little screen as you are watching people arrive. Um, if these comments um, are, are bugging you and you don't want to see them, just ignore them. Or I believe you can swipe them out of the way. In about four minutes, we will start the, the movement snack session. So um, do feel free to, to turn off if this preamble isn't what you need first thing in the morning. But it does give me opportunity to, to whip you into a movement frenzy and get you in the zone. Hopefully it does a bit of that as well. And uh, yeah, we're continuing to, to receive some, some incredible comments from you all about how, how these sessions are benefiting you, positively impact on, impacting on you. So thanks for Thanks for sharing those things. They, they really encourage us to, to do what we thought, which was this is, this is going to benefit people. So it, it's great to see that uh, confirmed, confirmed for us. Yep. Um, I think it's probably going to be about a three minute countdown and then we'll move into our morning routine. Routine being the, the key word there. So this, this whole initiative was really designed to build new routines during this period that we all find ourselves in. Hello everyone, it feels weird waving at the screen. I, I try to stop myself doing it, but I feel like, uh, I feel like I know you all a little bit really. It's all a bit strange. Vivian, Jane, Dawn Scouton, do I know you? Do I even know you? Last minute, are you ready? Are you getting excited? Are you getting the movement? The movement buzz going, look pre-stretch there. Did you see that? Oh. Um, where are you gonna be when we start? Are we gonna be stood or sat? Have you got some support so that you can maybe move between the two, maybe start seated and come up to stand when you're ready? Or start standing and sit down when we start to do some of the head turning movement. So there's lots of reasons why uh, you may feel that ah, I'm gonna do this one sat down or this one stood up. That's perfectly usual and it's all part of decisions around the best, the best starting point to move. I just need to clarify this. So I'm in my dining room and joining us in this little screen, we have Italy, Greece, Sweden, Singapore, Scotland, England, Wales. Uh, which is a little bit incredible, a bit mind blowing. And Finland, I think. <laughs> right, come on, enough. Enough hilarity. Um, not to mention Berkshire. Thank you, brother of mine, for your support. Come on then, here we go. Are we ready? Good morning. My name is Bex Townley from Later Life Training. 
Still, um, we are in week two of Make Movement Your Mission. This is day 13 of our scheduled 30 days. Some of you have been with us all of that time and then lots of people have been joining days in between. Absolutely perfect, that's what we want. Keep joining us, there's plenty of room. This is Movement Snack One today. We've been building a, a, a morning, morning, a morning movement snack built around mobility and getting us ready for the day. So that's what we're going to do now. Pick your position, please. Sit or stand. Once I take these off and go over there, I have no idea what you're saying, but I read all the comments later. Are we ready? Here's the positions then. If you are upwardly standing and confident to do so, please pick up the position and start your circulation boosting. In seated, whatever chair you are in, hit walk forward. This will make it easy and, and more effectively enable you to move more freely. It will also support an easier stand if you choose to. Feet flat, buttocks firm, lift tall and open. And let's start with our circulation boosting march. So this is all from the feet, generated from the feet, not flat foot. Really try to activate ankles and feet. In standing, it's the same. It just becomes a, a steady walk or a steady march on the spot. Even steps, using support if you need. Focus on standing a little bit more upright than you usually do. These are circuits, these are circulation boosts and just serves to do that, to boost the circulation and get us ready for these movements. As and when you feel uh, comfortable, bring in um, a steady arm. Arms and legs coordinate together in, in walking, as you will know. So we're just looking to replicate that here. And the same in seated. So one arm to start, two when you're ready. And we've been adding in some alternatives on these arm actions. If you prefer just to focus on either upper, upper body or lower body, that's fine as well. Remember, this is our, our morning routine to get everything moving after laying flat for quite a few hours. So give the body time. The body can't just jump up and respond. It needs a little bit of time to respond. So uh, after the circ boost, we'll just have a deep breath, reset, ready to go. And let's start, uh, no, I wanna do a little bit more on uh, feet, if I may, sorry, forgot. Uh, I want to do some, uh, di uh, some side taps, some directional side taps. So bringing in a little bit more hip mobility, continuing to use support of an appropriate height if you need. Look down if you need to, glance ahead if you can. And we're just angling the foot and the toe. It's the same in seated, just out. So we're extending from the knee also and just getting a little bit more range of movement out of the toes there. Stay lifted as you go. Look ahead if you can, but do glance down if you need to. Sometimes it helps, helps to see what's going on as well, or just feel what's going on, or both. All right, good. Mobility routine, in sit or stand, think about start position, and we're gonna go straight into shoulder rolls, up, back, and down. Hands on thighs in seated, or down to the side. It really depends what kind of chair you're in. If we do this one driven from the shoulders and my hands just come with me, in stand it's the same. And again, hand on a uh, table or support if you need. Up, back and down. One time, three times or five times, keep the head still, focus on that backward press. And we're looking for just a little bit more range of movement than you ordinarily would. If you consider all of the, the tasks you do throughout the day, when do we really take the time to take our joints through their, their fullest potential range? We want to keep what we've got, but also uh, gain and improve what we have. So having, having mobilised shoulders, a little bit more work now around neck mobility, starting with slow head turns. Pause in the middle, to the other side. And you may feel that you have more mobility on one side than the other, this is, this is usual, we're all a bit lopsided and wonky. Can you see that I just, it's just a sideways turn. 
to a movement that's comfortable for you in the chair that is the same good okay just have an extra little bit of a roll and an extra little bit of a an ankle pump or a little bit of a movement through just to reset the posture before the next mobility action which is uh, another neck one have a look here gaze stays forward my fingertips here just offer me a, a reference point i can either move away from that reference point or i can help me to, to guide it forward and typically here well, it's almost as if you're giving yourself a double chin attractive on a weekend um, and again this is to help mobilize mobilize the neck so that we can hold our head literally in a better position to support upright posture okay so top top end of the, the body done here so this is all the part that we need to reach grab and gaze so neck shoulders are all connected of course here we go now down to trunk starting with our side bends so if you're in standing and you know what's coming start with that please in seated buttocks to chair feet flat support on the chair if you need and we have a sideways bend and it comes back up mobility keeps moving down and back you control this range of movement to a point that's comfortable for you supporting hands if you need keep going that on seated in standing it's the same wider base for balance support if you need directly to the side and come back up we're not looking for a huge range just your comfortable functional range and try to squeeze down with control you're in complete control of this range of movement i squeeze down and i come back be aware as well, a bit of activity here in the tummy. So lengthen out of here and just a little bit of a pull in through the tummy as well, just to better support the posture. Keep breathing, which is quite important. Turning, trunk turns. So we've gone down to the side. Now we're going to turn around everything in the chair. The buttocks really anchor us, buttocks and feet. So just the top half turns, we can bring hands with us, or we can just support them like so. A little pause in the center. You might want to have a little uh, slump or a reset, and then go again, and it's the same in stand. Anything that turns will move the head, wider base for, for comfort, and here. You wanna put your hips, uh, closer to a table or chair just to help you give a reference point to them not moving we're trying to stay really strong and firm in the bottom half so it's just the top half that moves okay have another little extra roll do whatever you need to do just to release have a little pause up from the posture muscles if you're feeling they're getting a little bit tired let's go for our back extension so we've just done side bends rotate now we're going to extend and these three movements are our focus because in daily life we spend a lot of time flexed forwards so all of our mobility routine now lifts us up extends us and turns us and restores us into this upright functional position getting excited what we on tell me back extensions thank you in standing here we go Steady and strong in stand, weight even. Here is the back extension from usual posture position, up and lift and return. It keeps on moving. Hand on top if you want to, or back, uh, back of the hand, and that just adds a guide. If you're steady and confident without support, we can really lift and extend, but keep the gaze forward, folks, keep the gaze forward. And as always, you can see my bottom half is really strong and solid. Same in the chair lift and open if it's comfortable to put a bit of hand here for guidance that just gives you a, another reference point to fix the hip and extend the back your range of movement one time three times or five times these mobility movements move slowly in and out explore how this is it's we're literally learning how to to move in a more mindful way to understand can i improve maintain this mobility 
Ankles to finish, I think. Ankles to finish. So uh, options in seated. Come all the way back into full back rest for this one. Just lift the foot a little bit off the floor and now we can really focus on ankle mobility. This is my ankle, by the way. But if you want to bring in the hand as well, we can have some extra wrist mobility. There's value in that. Here I'm saying to, to just be really clear what you want the ankle to do. Press it forwards, squeeze it back once, three or five times. Same on the other leg, don't forget. And when I say be specific, not just a, a rotate or a, or a random turn, really focus on extend um, and flex. This is how we walk. This is how the ankles work for us as we walk. So in stand, your option is heel toe in stand. If that's really com uh, comfortable for you and you're, you're, you're happy to be standing on one leg doing that, we can translate that into a more purposeful step. So we can really articulate the heel strike at the front and the heel comes off at the back. And what you have here is this weight transfer as well. So using the support, we're bringing in lifted posture, a functional stepping action as well. Da -da -da. All very nice. Coming towards the end of the movement, snap. Now we've got everything moving. Crowbar in some heel raises and some toe raises if you can. So from standing, pick your position. Let's take the raise up and slowly lower, 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 lower down. Wait over big toe, second toe. If you want a progression on this, if you can get 10 good ones of these with a slow control, you could try hands on support, come up on two, lift one foot off and lower down on one. That's quite a big progression. So make sure that you can do 10 really good ones with loads of control before you think about that progression. Let me show you again. I come up on two and then I come down on one. Lots of external support. So I've literally doubled the load, haven't I? Because I've removed the leg. In seated, we are <coughs> rehearsing and preparing feet and ankles perhaps for that standing activity. So feet are flat, back a little bit, heels up, lower down and squeeze your calves at the top end. There, that's the seated option. Okay, when I've gone, you might wanna put in an extra calf stretch if you've just done a, a nice set of those heel raises. So feel free to add that calf stretch. Feel free, if you want, to go through all that again, feel free to watch this video back and do that snack again. That's extra sneaky snack minutes in the movement snack bag. Oh. All right, that's our first 10 minutes in the bag today. Thank you very much. Remember, I'll see you at 12 and at four, but today we have a special edition 11 o'clock version that will uh, really focus purely on seated movement snack um, activities okay so this is an extra one we've put in in addition to the others purely seated there won't be any standing alternatives allows me time to really focus in on the key prompts just for seated activities thank you very much keep on moving we are c accumulating movement minutes like like movement minute maniacs it's fantastic See you either at 11 or 12. Goodbye for now. Bye.